GERD is gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is very, very common in the United States. Um, it, some people think that as many as 26 million people uh, have it, or and or it's a, the medications that are prescribed for it are some of the most commonly prescribed medications uh, in the world. And the symptoms are several, but they can include heartburn, um, difficulty swallowing, on occasion pain or discomfort when swallowing, and very often this troubling feeling of food coming back up when you swallow, which is called regurgitation. Normally food is pushed down the esophagus with contractions, and there's a sphincter at the bottom that opens, and food goes down and then it closes. It closes so that food and also fluid from the stomach does not get up in the esophagus. As your stomach is digesting food, that muscle should remain shut, so food and acid doesn't go back up the wrong way. The new technology available is called Lynx. And Lynx is really innovative technology that is targeted toward that sphincter muscle that is opening when it should not. And you can see that it's a series of 13 magnets that are on a string. And when the device is placed around the esophagus, it forms a circle around that sphincter muscle. And the design is based upon the ability of these magnets to open and close. So when you are swallowing, these magnets can open and allow that food and liquid to go past into your esophagus. But then when you're digesting food, these beads will remain closed, preventing the sphincter muscle from opening and preventing acid and food from going back up into your esophagus. This procedure is done laparoscopically. It's, it is an operation. It's done under general anesthesia. Uh, when people go home, they do have some discomfort from the incisions, need some pain medication for a few days usually. They're able to drive within a week. Uh, they're able to do all their activities when they feel like it, except for very heavy lifting, which is really straining. Uh, so the amount of discomfort from the, from the uh, surgery itself is actually pretty small. The ideal candidate for this operation is someone who has heartburn, who has tried medication for heartburn, and has some benefit, but not enough, and still has daily symptoms that impair their quality of life. So two things patients should know if they're considering a Lynx operation. The first is the magnetic bead is not compatible with an MRI. So if patients are expecting to have an MRI, they would not want to have this procedure. Secondly, if they are allergic to metal like titanium or nickel, we would not implant the device. We have a study of 100 patients followed for three years. There have been no serious complications and over 90% of patients are satisfied with the operation and have been able to come off their medication. The fact that people are having a great relief of their reflux is, uh, yeah, I think, reason enough that they are, feel that it's very worthwhile. Mm -hmm.